morning friends welcome to the vlog i've been trying to vlog for like the last two weeks but i finally got my camera back yay and so today is actually tuesday tomorrow we leave for san antonio today we got to go to nashville though so i thought i'd take you guys along with me and i'm gonna head to target and best buy again and the doctor and then come home and get my eyebrows tinted at the salon in Camden. So, come along. Let's go. We haven't been in Nashville in five seconds. of vlogging today like I'm already done in Nashville I'm fixing to head home <laughs> well actually I'm headed to Camden so when I get home I'll show you all the things that I've got and then also I've got my I've got my um, eyebrow appointment also so I'll take you along with me I'm sorry that I've been so crappy today with the vlogging in Nashville but I mean I just did everything that I always do <laughs> in Nashville which is go to Target Best Buy and Ulta I spent way too much money in Ulta, but it's in gifts, so that doesn't count, right? Okay, let's go home. Okay, so now I'm gonna go get my eyebrows tinted. So the place I'm going is literally right next door to the Berry Clinic. So this is the Berry Clinic, and then we're just gonna walk right in here. Isn't it so cute? December again I can't believe it Whatever happened to the rest of the Maybe I need some eyebrows. Oh what? my gosh, you do. I don't you really have eyebrows. She should tan. You ever noticed that? Yeah, like Morgan like noticed it. I don't have. And eyebrows. said it all the time. Hmm. Is that a thing? Do people not have eyebrows? Some at people all? don't. That's why there's people who dye their brows. Hmm. They're really dark, but I kind of like them. This dark. What do you think? At least you didn't pencil them in yourself. That always ends badly when people do that, you know? Mm -hmm. Like pluck them all and then draw them back on. Oh, them. I know. Made it home. My eyebrows, oh my God, are so dark. <laughs> They're gonna fade, no worries. I look super Puerto Rican right now. I look like Rebecca. Oh my, I look like my cousin Rebecca right now. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm fixing to, uh, what am I fixing to do? Uh, wrap presents or not wrap presents but like package presents up and I'm gonna show you guys my keto what it, what am I calling it keto care package and all the things that I put in it so let me get my stuff together and then we'll do that can you see me can you push it? yes you can. <clears throat> you can also see my beautiful Dyson you should get one okay guys so as part of this Christmas I'm giving some of my loved ones who have shown interest in keto. No, I'm not like harassing people that love junk food and are in no way interested in getting more healthy with these gifts. But the ones that like my friends that have shown interest but have just 
not been able to keep up with um, with the holidays and everything like that and maybe don't understand ingredients and how to cook for themselves so okay so I'm gonna show you what I'm putting in this keto care package so I'm using the cutest bags ever these are from the Dollar Tree and they're Buffalo plaid which you know that I love my entire house basically at Christmas time is Buffalo plaid so these this was a dollar all right so in this cute bag, Rhett, I need a little space. I'm gonna put a few of my favorite keto products and um, that way they can start the year off at least trying to be keto a little bit more than what they maybe are. So the first thing I'm putting in there is a bottle of Alterna Sweet Sauce. Or maybe two or three. They sent me a lot, so shout out to Alterna Sweets. Thank you so much for sending me these bottles. They're gonna make some people real happy because I know, for me, I'm a dipper. I like to dip things. So like when I make my keto chicken nuggets, which if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the description, or even steak, or if I'm making keto meatloaf, anything like that. I, I'm a sauce person, so it's really awesome to be able to have sauces that are made the way that I want them to be made and not with this ton of sugar in them. So if you haven't checked Alterna Sweets out, you definitely need to. We have a promo code. It's Team Berry, so I'll put the link in the description along with the promo code and how much off. And if you guys are interested, you can head over there and buy you a few bottles. This one right here is barbecue sauce. So this person's gonna get barbecue sauce. I think I'm gonna put two because they sent me so many. I'm gonna put two sauces. Okay, I'm gonna put this one. I'm gonna take some of these to San Antonio with me so I'm not, I'm trying to keep them packaged where they won't break on the flight because that would get real messy. But I'm gonna open a few more just to show you guys. So they make uh, barbecue sauce, ketchup, Spicy ketchup. So this is the classic tomato ketchup. So I'm gonna put that in there. And then they also make spicy ketchup, which is not actually super spicy, but it does have a kick to it. I also add salt to my ketchups. I've always done that since I was a kid. And I, I can't help it, I just do it. So every time I use these, I automatically pour a bunch of Redmond salt on top. So yeah, this is the spicy ketchup. And then they, I think they might have a honey mustard now. That's so loud. Tell them what you're doing. Frying bacon. Deep frying bacon. So if you hear a bunch of racket, that's Dr. Berry. Racket. <laughs> that's just another barbecue. Okay. So I'm going to put a barbecue and a ketchup in here. So everybody's going to get a barbecue sauce and a ketchup. And then I'm going to put a Ziploc full of almond flour, a Ziploc full of pork panko, which I'm almost out of, but I've got another bag coming. Whoop. And then also a fat snacks cookie. Well, it's two cookies, but one packet. Some alternate, alternative sweeteners. So I've got some Truvia and monk fruit and some sweet leaf, which is, I think, xylitol. No, that's just stevia. So this is stevia. And then I think I've got some xylitol in here too. So I'm just gonna throw some sweeteners in there. And then I'm going to put a keto cookbook because I feel like that's probably the most important thing or maybe the thing that a lot of people who are new or just getting started start on keto they have no idea what to cook they think that you can just eat steak bacon and eggs and butter and that's it they don't understand how um, you can just you know pretty much eat everything that you used to eat you just make it in keto form so this is Maria Emmerich's keto comfort food the reason I'm picking this one is because I'm gonna turn the camera around and show them what you're doing <laughs> yes I am I don't think he's so professional he is not He's being a little butthole. 
Uh, I'm picking the Keto Comforts boots because I feel like the people in my life are used to comfort foods. That's their, that's their thing. So in this book, you're going to find a lot of things that you would find in the South. Pot roast. Um, what's another thing she does in here? Stuffing. Roasted cauliflower beef stew. Chick or cheese fondue. Loaded chicken nachos. How to make, like, I mean, BLT cheese balls. Stuffed mushrooms. Sweet breakfast biscuits. Burgers. Cheeseburger soup. There's a lot of freaking <laughs> recipes in this book. Like, this is a whole year's worth of recipes. So if somebody took this book and did a recipe a day, you would not run out of things to make. And they're all delicious. I mean, Maria's been doing, I wish he would make some more noise. That's what I wish he would do. Make some more noise. Maria's been doing keto. How long has she been doing it? Years. Over 10 years, I'm pretty sure. She's got free recipes over on her blog. I'll link it in the description as well. So. Um, this is the book that I'm choosing. Okay. And then I'm just going to stuff it with paper. So there you go. Keto care package for Christmas. Super easy to do. You probably have all this stuff except for the sauces in your house. But like I said, there's a promo code. I'll put it in the description. Okay, now I'm gonna wrap the rest of my presents. It's December again. I can't believe it.